So, the Kira, Unit 3 is, again, as I said before, it's the same format right the way through. For some reason, they've decided to split um, that L01 into two sections instead of making them separate learning objectives because they are about learning the principles of learning, really. The next bit looks at analysing theories, principles and models of communication and, again, following up that with an explanation of how those theories and principles could be applied to teaching, learning and assessment. On, quite honestly, if it's an issue, if you have an issue with any of these uh, theories uh, and say that I couldn't possibly work with that one, then by all means say so. And all three looks at, um, that looks at communication, sorry. The LLC looks at the assessment, models of assessment and the way assessments takes place um, and how that assessment process can differ between um, academic um, assessment and, of course, practical assessment in the workplace. LL4 looks at theories, models of curriculum development and how those can be applied. So those are quite useful, actually. Um, when you read through those, uh, you can see where they're coming from straight away. And quite often, those are really interesting, actually. You can quite learn quite a lot from uh, how, curriculum, how curricula are developed, yeah, from an idea, perhaps, yeah. Mm -hmm. LL5 is different because it now looks at models and re of reflection and evaluation. And these are models and of reflection and evaluation on yourself. Mm -hmm. When, I mean, I first went into teaching a long time ago, and it's something every teacher does. Automatically, at the end of a session, you will say to yourself, well, that went down like a lead balloon. Um, I should have done this. I perhaps could have explained that better. That didn't go too well. I didn't get any reaction from this. Others, you'll think, wow, that was great. Everybody was involved. They got lost loads of questions. We all answered them. The, 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 the students start, you know, peer to peer as well. Uh, and the whole session went really well. I mean, they won't be polarized like that, obviously. There'll be some with a mixture of, of things in there. But you went through this reflection period after the event, if you like. Mm -hmm. um, but it was all done more or less in your head. And, oh, yeah, but you, may, you might make notes for, um, you know, certain things. If, if, if something's definite you need to change, um, then you'll make notes on that and do it. An example of that is when I first started to, to deliver this um, this course some years ago now, uh, it was brand new and there were not many facilities, not many resources to, to use and so forth. Um, and I started off with Unit 1. And I spoke to other people, got in touch with a few audience bodies, um, and it became apparent that most people were now looking at doing Unit 3 first. So that was a reflective practice, if you like, that, that involved others, where we said, yes, that Unit 3 is now actually a necessity first. Mm -hmm. One of the good reasons for that is that um, it can save you some writing later on. In, in, in that, uh, you'll have covered things in here that you will get asked about in other units. Uh, and obviously, if you completed the work here, you can cross-reference that um, you know, further on. Um, so that's that's the whole unit. It's it's five learning objectives, and it's basically um, asking you about the different types of theories and principles in the learning environment. Okay. Firstly, as I said, models of learning. So let's look back at, um, at this one, and what I would, would suggest is that to make sure we've got the format right and you understood you know, exactly what needs to be done. Um, if you if you focus on learning objective one, um, and once you've got that complete, send it in to me, I'll give you some formative feedback straight away then, and that will allow you then to carry on, because if it's okay, if everything's fine, it will it will give you the confidence that, oh, yeah, well, I've got that right now, I know what I'm doing, I'll follow that through. Okay. If, if there's some 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 um, referred work or anything that needs to be 
uh, corrected because sometimes you can go off at a tangent on something and, and miss off what the AC is asking you to do. Um, and if that's sort of caught at that point, then it makes the rest of the unit much easier. And this, of course, applies to all the units that we do as we go through this programme. Okay. Of course, we've done the other, unit, the other qualification before, so it, I work exactly in the same way. Okay. I don't change things like that. And um, again, I'll just have a quick look, yeah, look through. Uh, it'll, the format will be exactly the same way. Theories and principal models, 1.1, analy series principles of learning, theories of learning, and behaviorism, and cognitivism, and, and you know, a number of people in here that she's looked up and done some research on. Um, structuralism, and you know, she goes through that and makes an anal analysis of them uh, to say what things and what 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 she thinks of that and and why um, she's picked that one out. Um, principles of learning. She's looked at a few principles as well. Multisensory models of learning. Oops. Colb is a good place to start. Uh, the two guys. I've got a lot of lot to say in a lot of these areas. One is Kolb, and the other one is I call it Vykotsky. Um, he's got quite a few interesting things to say. I've worked out that I work pretty much the way um, the theorist Vykotsky has put stuff down. Um, whether we're the same age or not, I don't know. But <laughs> certainly we seem to gel somewhere. Competition-based methods, and then it goes on to 1.2, explain how they can be fitted in to... Because, again, your explanation doesn't need to be as, as, as broad, because it then covers the bit that you're interested in. Mm -hmm. 1.3 looks at VARC or VAXA, and it's, 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 it's looking at... Um, again, this is a, another one that is... Uh, how can I say? I'll be kind and say overstated. Um, th there are four main preferences of learning. But then you'll read some people and the, they'll say there's six. And somebody else will they'll say, somebody else says there are eight. Uh, and then somebody else will say, ah, but you've got to include this as well. <sighs> to be quite honest, the, the, the split deriv derivatives of those first four, uh, they're not actually... Um, in my opinion, they're not actually separate. <laughs> if you try to encompass every one of those in your choice of resources and you had such a huge diverse um, pattern of, of learners, I'd be very, very much surprised. But again, basically they are, are the visual, oral, read, write, kinesthetic, those are the three main ones, actually. There is a fourth. But the, um, those main three are the areas that we, you can look at and decide, um, oh, not decide on this one, sorry, but do some, um, some work on those, a bit of research on those, and then uh, how those will actually fit into um, the learning, or help you to choose the resources to provide um, Inclusive teaching and learning, really. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, the, there are, of course, um, SEN colleges and schools, but those have been reduced in recent years, and many students that were probably more able in uh, special needs schools have been put into mainstream. And so you generally, in a lot of cases, you will find that you have to use not just different resources, but it may be that you need a certain specialist in the classroom with you and that sort of thing to actually make sure that you're covering everything and the way it's covered. Um, nowadays, people, or, or children, I should say more, um, are diagnosed with things earlier and we get to know about any problems or learning issues that they've got at a much earlier stage. Um, it's, it's fairly rare nowadays for somebody to go all the way through 11 years of school and not be diagnosed, say, as dyslexic. Mm -hmm. um, it still happens, I'm sorry to say. Um, I was unfortunate, well, not unfortunate. I, had to, I met this with a group of 
um, 19 to 24 year olds, all with special needs that I was teaching um, some years ago now. And I couldn't understand why he was in the group because he didn't seem to fit. Mm -hmm. And it was only after several, well, probably about four weeks that I realized that he, he definitely got a, a, a reading and writing problem. And I got him checked and, and he came out as, as dyslectic, but it was, a, um, you know, there's a, a scale with these things. Uh, and he was able to be assisted greatly with, I can't remember what it was now, whether it was blue paper or blue tinted glasses or something of that nature, with, which allowed everything to fall in place for him. He was absolutely amazed. So, yeah, but usually um, things like that are found out earlier, and then we can actually, in the classroom, we can make sure that we can, we can use the resources that are available to, to help in those areas. So well, that, that's basically the format. And then from the end of it, well, it goes into analysing and looking at principles and models of communication. I go back to the beginning now. Um, so on that, I will, um, what I'll do, I will find the bits that I, I want to give you tonight. Um, I will, I, will, I will make, I will have them on here somewhere. Why I can't turn them up, I don't know. Certainly I'll get the, 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 um, the Moodle sorted out. And once I've done that, what I'll do, I'll send those to you. Um, there are two documents, this one, but without any, right, it, what it will have in here is my suggestions of what you use for evidence, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, and on the other side, of course, it'll be exactly the same. Um, but also there is a, a, a second paper um, that gives you the ideas. It tells you where to go to for the research for each individual area of the assessment criteria. Um, and most students that's done this course find that extremely useful. Um, because it gives them an intro straight into what they should be looking at. Mm -hmm. So, have you got any questions for me up to now? I've been doing a lot of talking up to now. Ask me about this this particular unit now. No, no, it's okay. Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. Um, uh, I, I just need to start on the um, unit one, and then. Um... Unit three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. objective one, sorry, Yeah, if you if you if you if you start on unit three, learning objective one, um, and there is split into four uh, sections. The rest of them are only two uh, assessment criteria for each one. This one is four because it uh, the learning preference and the learning styles actually. Um, make a difference into the principles and models of learning, they are involved. So that's why they've stuck it together on there. Um, but yeah, personally, if I'd have been doing it, I'd have made it a separate learning objective for those two, but they do follow on from the first one. Okay. So one of the things that um, I wanted to try and find, I'll just have a quick look before we um, Oh, I, should have, I, I brought this up the other day. I've got an example. Mm -hmm. that down a minute now. What oh, that's still doing there? I can close as well. I had a copy of that. It was on. Or was it just a second? Just make sure it could be still on the clipboard on here. Oh no, I've forgotten all that. I've, got all my, I've just done a load of IQA. Uh, and those are the ones that are on the clipboard, not the ones. <laughs> Build me. Hold on. Just a link that document again. I'm sure it was on here, and if I do, I can. I'll send it to you straight away. But mm -hmm. um, here we are. Got it straight away. There we are. Mm -hmm. Unit three suggested evidence. Eh? I wanted to see that before. 
<laughs> yeah. And again, it's got my um not oh, unit one, not unit three, it's got unit three up there on the assessment process, that's wrong one. Ah, this is the example. I'll send this to you straight away with Claude now. Uh, are you getting, you've, you've still not got access to the Moodle, have you? Um, they just sent me the, um, the uh, access today. Ah, so yeah. have you tried this out? No, I haven't had a chance. Right, if, if, you, if you've got a problem with it, let me know straight away. Well, I'm going into the office in the morning and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get it sorted out straight away. Okay, no problem. Will do. Okay. Um, I'll send you this so you can make a start. It's just some ideas. Yep. Um, as much as anything else, to give you some ideas. Yep. Yeah. It's not a, uh, this is sort of a cut down version. Understand me. It's, it's just sort of um, some ideas of, of the format, how it wants, and some of the people involved on that. Yeah. Okay. It's not like a full explanation of the unit it's just a learning objective one with uh, some ideas in there that's all okay i'll close that one down and actually move that uh, onto that yeah and i uh, will close that down now just let me check i've not got that um the other one which is you you really useful and then i'll need a cover sheet so yeah, no, you don't. What you need to do, right? The the format is easy. What what you'll do is, um, let's open that up. Okay. What I want you to do is, yeah. in the header, yeah. put put your name, DT level five, unit three. Yeah? yeah, in the header, and at the bottom, page number. Wherever you want, middle, don't know where the, in the middle or either side, yeah? Yep. Just put the page number on there. Okay, when you've done Unit 3 Learning, uh, learning Objective 1, you've covered 1.1 1 .1 to 1 1.4, yep. and you send me the work, yeah? Yep. What I do is that assessment sheet that you saw, I will then put that at the head of your work, yeah? Oh, okay, yeah. And that will then... The work that you sent me, I will assess it, put my assessment in the top there, take out the bit that says uh, suggested evidence, yeah, and actually put it, my assessment in there, whether it's achieved or not. If it's not, there'll be a, a bubble at the side that will say what you need to do, um, or it'll be, it'll, it might, it'll say good, good, fine, or whatever, and that's just a pointer to me that I've accepted that, and I'll be, I'll be signing it off on, on the header sheet at the front. And okay. you want you to pop it up. Oh, because that sheet has, um, let me just pop there in a minute on that. We want no pedals again. Uh, you need three, where have you gone? Mm, yeah, on, on here, obviously you have your name at the top and your registration number will go in there. Um, as it's achieved, it gets an A in here, and the page number is important then because it'll say that analyzed theories and modeling principles of learning, that is achieved, it's on page two to eight, and yeah. you are explaining the ideas of several theories and providing an analysis for the rest of the various models they present. This is followed by means of application. Uh, and yeah. again, it, it, that says why it's achieved, uh, and it's all done on one sheet. It just makes it more straightforward when you're actually doing the assessment. And the learners find it easy because they got the feedback straight away. Okay. And as we work through the unit, every time you send me any work in, it will get the same treatment and come back to you. Okay. Now the, 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 the thing about this is that we always work with the same document. So you, you send me your work. I'll put the header sheet in and do my assessment of it and send it you back, yeah? Okay. When you continue with any work, you add it on to it. Don't send me a press, don't make a press document, yeah? Or we end up with several versions of the same thing. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you, wherever you finish, you just carry on from there at the end of it, and it carries on on the same document, which we send backwards and forwards two or three times until it's complete, and then we move on to the next unit, obviously. Yeah. So, so are you happy with that now? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So again, just just to, just to sort of recap on what we said, you're going to send me the first learning objective in as complete. I'll make sure you've got if you haven't got access to the Moodle. Um, as I happened tonight, um, let me know straight away, and I'll, I'll deal with that tomorrow. And then, uh, as I said, you, you as you send the work in, I will then monitor it, assess it, send you the details back, and you will carry on from there. Okay. There's just one uh, other thing um, to remember, <laughs> and that is, if I send you some work in that needs something adding to it, yeah. when you send it back to me, Yep. Put the text you've changed in red. Okay. That, I don't need to read through everything again. Then I can pick up what you what you've added and go. Yes, that's fine. And then I'll turn it black. And when I send it back to you, it'll be signed off and it'll have the 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 piece in there. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Is that okay then? Yeah, that's all good. Thank you. Have you anything else tonight? No, nope, that's all good. Okay, well, thank you for attending, and I will expect to see some work from you shortly. Right, thank you. Okay, right. bye now. And it's Thursday bye. next week, yeah? Sorry? And, and it will be on Thursday next week. Um, it, I, I, I may change that. Um, I may do it like this as a, as a, a double um, session with you as first, followers on with the others afterwards, because I've got some that are still on Unit 3, um, so you may overtake them. So we, we we may stay on this and I'll move them to Thursday. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.